Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Now in today's video we are looking at some double die quarters that are worth money. We'll look at some other different types of error coins as well and different coin prices. Don't forget the ebook. My coin book is available on couchcollectibles.com. Link is below every single video that I upload. Let's just hop right into this and check out these first quarters. All right, so starting off first here with a 1934 Washington quarter. So these are older silver quarters, of course. Uh, one thing about these quarters is that they do have different types of mottos. Uh, the motto in God we trust. Uh, so we have a light motto, which we can see here on the right side, a medium motto, and a heavy motto which we can see the difference there. Heavy on the bottom, medium in the middle, light motto up top. So those are the three different mottos, but we also want to look for doubling on these quarters. So here's an example. I actually have one of these quarters myself. It's not in the best condition. It's pretty worn down. Uh, but here is an example of what that doubling looks like on that phrase in God we trust. You'll really see it there on the T. I mean, it's on all the lettering, but if you really want to see it like right off, look at that T there. Look how uh, that doubling is taking place as well as that I there and the word N. Now here's another image of that that uh, is pretty extreme type of doubling. So we're going to have some different examples. Uh, we'll also see that on the numbers of the date 1934. And then here's another example of that phrase in God we trust doubled as well. So look for that with your USB coin microscopes. I have those available on couchcollectibles.com. Now also on the D mint mark real quick, uh, if we look at the reverse of the coin, the D mint mark will be at the bottom above the R in quarter. So on the reverse of the coin at the bottom. For the year 1934, we will either have a no mint mark or a D mint mark. They did not produce any San Francisco minted S mint mark quarters in 1934. Now here we go. Let's look at some different coin prices here. All right, so a doubled die obverse. We looked at that doubling. Now here's an example of a coin that has that doubling on the phrasing God we trust. It's only graded at a very fine 30 by PCGS. So you can obviously see that this coin has been in circulation. It's in pretty you know rough shape. Uh, definitely not the worst. My quarter is in worse condition than this. Uh, but this coin did sell for over $180 in that condition. Now, if we look at this coin here, this coin is graded at an AG3, so very, very low grade. Uh, this coin here only sold for around 50 bucks, And again, it does have that double die obverse. We see how much more worn this coin is uh, compared to the previous quarter that sold for over $180. But let's get into more expensive coins. This is a 1934 double die obverse as well. We got a much higher grade here, graded at a mint state 64. So this is a much higher grade at a mint state 64. And it has that doubling, that double die obverse. This coin sold for over $1,800. But that's not it. An even more expensive coin, 1934 double die obverse with that Men's State 66 grade. This quarter sold for over $8,000. So you see the difference there, all the way from 50 bucks to 8,000, you know, depending on the grade of the coin, which is the condition. So keep that in mind, that always will affect the coin's value. Now here's a 1934 D mint mark. The coin has been cleaned and it's uh, only graded at an extra fine. So it's not really gonna sell for a lot of money, not worth having graded in my opinion. 1934 D mint mark sold for around 25 bucks. Now if we compare that to a 1934 that has a high grade of a mint state 67, has some amazing natural toning to it, and this is an example of the heavy motto. We looked at the light, medium, and heavy mottos. This is the heavy motto. This quarter sold for over $15,000. And that's because there's probably not a many of these that exist at that grade uh, with that heavy motto. So those are going to be very expensive, you know, depending on the grades of the coins. 15 grand. 
Now here is a 1934 that is graded at an AU53. This coin only sold for around 15 bucks. So if you got these silver quarters, they're not in great condition. And uh, 1934, they're not really valuable. But if we look here at the 1934 that has that high grade, Mint State 67 with the light motto, this coin sold for over $8,500. So $8,000 for that quarter with the light motto. Now here's an example of a 1934 no mint mark with the medium motto. Also an extremely high grade of a mint state 68. This coin sold for over $15,000. So keep that in mind, you know, something like this 1934 that's going to have a high grade like that is going to be super, super rare. So $15,000. We also have a small D on the 1934 quarter versus a large D. So there's the two examples of that. Small D here, large D here. Uh, so let's check out these other quarters that are worth money. Let's start with a 1966 error coin. Now this error quarter here is pretty awesome. I've showed this in one of my previous quarter videos. Now it's graded by PCGS at a Mint State 64 and you can see on the coin slab it says magnetic metal piece struck into obverse. And we look here at the front of the coin and we can see that magnetic piece that has been struck into the front of the coin. So that is super awesome, man. I would love to find an error coin like this in my pocket change. This quarter here, because of that, sold for over $600. A $600 quarter from 1966. Now, also on the 1968, if you turn the coin over to the reverse of the coin and you get a USB coin microscope from couchcollectibles.com to see your coins up close like this, you want to look for doubling. This is a double die reverse, so look for doubling on the lettering of the coin. Here's an example of a 1966 that has that double die reverse. Now, this is important here because this coin is not in the best condition. It's actually in pretty poor condition. So it's been circulated, but it has been graded at a double die reverse. Now, this is one that you definitely want to look for in your pocket change. If this coin was graded at a much higher grade, it would sell for a lot more money. However, this coin here sold for over $140 because it's not in the best condition. It's only graded at a very fine. So it does have the double die reverse though, and that is what's given it all of its value. Now, if we look at another double die reverse, this is at a higher grade. It's still not the highest grade in the world. It's graded at an extra fine 45 but it does have that double die reverse. You can tell that the coin has been circulated, it's been in pocket change, and this coin here sold for over $900. $900 Washington quarter. Next up is another type of error. This coin here has been struck off center with an indent on it. It would be pretty hard to find something like this in circulation, I'm not gonna lie. This coin here sold for over $860. Next up is a 1966 Washington quarter. Now this quarter here is solely valuable because of its grade. It's graded at a Mint State 68. Now this coin here sold for over $4,000 just because of that high grade. Here's a 1966 Washington quarter that has a uniface reverse. So this one is an error quarter as well. You can see that there in the image displayed. Now what's unique about this is that this quarter was also struck on a 10 cent planchet. So it was essentially struck on a dime. As you can see here that the whole quarter design does not fit on it. And then we see the uniface reverse there on the back of the quarter. Now this quarter here sold for over $350. Next up is a 1966 special mint set SMS quarter that is graded at a mint state 68. So this quarter here because of that high grade and because of the special mint set of it, this coin here sold for over $4,100. Moving on to a quarter that was struck on a dime. Now this one was graded at a Mint State 65 and because of the error and because of the high grade, this quarter here sold for over $575. Now this next quarter here has been struck 10% off center and it's been struck on a penny, a one cent planchet. So you can see that there, these coins are gonna be like 
almost impossible, I would say, in my real opinion, to find in pocket change or in a coin roll, but hey, you never know, but still a very unique coin. So I wanted to add it to the video. This coin here sold for over $1,000. $200. First thing you want to look for on your 1968 quarters is if you turn your quarters over to the back of the coin, the reverse, and you get a USB coin microscope from couchcollectibles.com, you'll be able to see your coins up close like this. Look for a double die reverse, doubling taking place on the back of the quarter. So here's a couple examples of that. If we look here at quarter, you can really see it there on the Q and the U and really on all the lettering there, that is a double die reverse. So here's an example of a 1968 Denver minted Washington quarter that has that double die reverse. Now this coin has not got a mint state grade, but it is graded at about uncirculated 58, and this Washington quarter sold for over $1,000. Now, if we look at this coin here, this is a 1968D, again, with the double die reverse, and it's graded at a mint state 65, so a much higher grade, and that will give it a little bit more value. This quarter here sold for over $1,800. Now, if you look at a 1968 quarter that's got an extremely high grade. Now, this coin is graded at a mint state 68. Like I always say, the coin grading scale only goes up to 70. This has got some really nice natural toning to the coin as well. And this quarter, because of that high grade, sold for over $8 thousand dollars moving on to a very simple type of error to look for in your pocket change now this coin is missing the reverse clad layer so we can see here on the front the clad layer is there looks very normal like a regular quarter you would find and change but here on the back you can see the inner copper layer core, which is missing the outer clad layer on the coin. Now, this quarter here sold for over $85. It's graded at about uncirculated 50, so definitely not the highest grade, but definitely not the lowest grade. Now, for your 1968S proof coins, there's a couple things you want to look for. The first one is an RPM. So on the S mint mark, zoom in. Put it underneath your microscope, look at the S mint mark. This is an example of a repunched mint mark that is taking place on the 1968S Washington Proof Quarter. Now here's an example of that coin that has that RPM, that repunched mint mark. This coin is graded at a Proof 68, so it is in excellent condition. Now this quarter here sold for over $1,300, a $1,300 quarter. Also on your 1968 Proof Quarters, you again want to look for a double die reverse. So doubling taking place on the lettering on the reverse of the Washington quarter. Always be on the lookout for that. Here's an example of the 1968S double die reverse, the proof quarter. And this Washington quarter here sold for over $400. $400 quarter. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.